Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and in this video I will show you how to design a base plate for a steel column. So here we have a structure like this. So these are the steel columns. This has to be rested on the uh, pedestal or a beam that goes through. So we will be designing the base plate and also we will design the column pedestal. So we will be using this excel sheet. So you can get this excel sheet by clicking in the link in the description box and remember this is a paid resource uh, we cannot provide a free access to this excel sheet you have to make a payment so we'll be using this excel sheet uh, these are the input parameters and these uh, highlighted cells are to be updated according to the analysis result and we'll uh, finally get the summary for the design that is a base plate uh, grade of steel dimension of the base plate thickness and size of the oil and also anchor bolts in case of any tension load so the very first thing here we have to enter is the service moment, uh, compression load, tension load and any horizontal shear forces. So this is to be taken from the load combination uh, according to the uh, design and for this you can simply uh, run the analysis and go to the display and here you have force or stress diagram and support reactions. So depending upon whether it is a hinge support, a roller support or fixed support we will get the uh, parameters and for now it is a fixed support so we will get all these parameters only uh, fz is a uh, critical that is other values are very less as compared to fx fy mx or these things in case if it was subjected to a, a lateral load then we might get value of fx fy similarly mx my but for now we are just uh, designing it as a roof structure that is subjected to uplift pressure at the roof so we are getting tension as well as compressive load so we'll do the design accordingly and we have this combination for the load and these are the indian standard uh, load combination and i have prepared a load combination envelope so basically if you see here in the load combination uh, i have added a new combo that is enveloped and it consists of all load combinations with scale factor one and uh, combination type as envelope so it will give the maximum out of this depending whether you are selecting the minimum value as well as the maximum value so accordingly we will get so i have checked all this because it is a fixed support now in our uh, design sheet we require service moment service compression load service tension load and make sure that all these load are factor load so it may have a factor of 1.2 or 1.5 so you can check that from the load combination for now let me assume that uh, it has a factor of safety 1.2 for all the loads so it will be easy to uh, enter the data over here so i have considered all this value but uh, if we see here let me go to the plan view so in the plan view uh, we can see that only the fz load is critical other things can be neglected so these all are the load combination so 20 45 35 and uh, mention this sign minus this means tension load and if i keep this as maximum it will give me the uh, downward force that is the base reaction due to the load uh, service load so uh, these all loads are negligible so i'll just keep this as zero in case if it was a slightly greater just compare with the axial load it is 32 and this is 0 0.8 so it doesn't make any are a significant difference so we can avoid that and similarly uh, maximum compressive load so service compression load 40 so 43 so this was the rcc column so we'll avoid this 40 is equal to 40 let us divide with parcel factory of sector as 1.2 this gives 33.3 .3 as the axial load now minimum and we have 35 45 45 so is equal to minus 40 because it is a tension load so minus 45 1.2 so we get 37.5 now on factor shear force so these fx and fy are the shear force so this can be avoided as well so it is zero grade of concrete of pedestal so we can design the pedestal uh, previous to that of base plate as well or we can design that uh, afterwards for now let us assume that it will be 20 kilo, uh, 20 mp design compressive stress so this is from is code and it is 0.45 fck so this comes as 9 
kilo newton uh, 9 newton per mm square okay yield strength of steel so let us assume a mild steel for the base plate so fe 250 and for fe 250 ultimate tensile strength is 410 now these are the partial factor of safety so these are all predefined values so 1.25 1.5 and 1.1 bolt properties so uh, let us assume a 2l mm bolt uh, hole diameter so nominal size will be 14 mm grade of bolt so we can go for uh, f 4.6 or 8.8 .8. so 8.8 uh, .8 is the uh, highly strength friction grip bolt so for now let us assume 4.6 so this is a general uh, residential uh, purpose so let us consider 4.6 and for this ultimate tensile strength of bolt is 400 and yield strength of bolt is 320 for f4.6 and this pitch so i have uh, prepared a table over here so according to the diameter we will get the pitch so for 12 mm it is 1.75 so that's fine bolt tension area so threaded area so this is the threaded area uh, 83.24 this depends upon the pitch of the bolt now number of bolts so let us assume four numbers of bolts at each uh, at the corners one two three four and age distance of bolt along so we have formula for this two and that depends upon the diameter of the bolt so age distance means so from the edge of the plate and to the center of the bolt so this should be 18 mm for 12 mm bar minimum and pitch of the bolt is the distance between two bolts so this is the minimum uh, distance so this should be 30 mm now section properties you can get this from e -tabs. so right click in any so it is isb 113.5 113.5 into 4.8 so just paste it over here the name and depth of section so you can get this from the e -tabs as well so depth of section length of section width of section so accordingly so this will be the length this will be the width so 113.5 so 113.5 that makes sense and thickness of the flange which is 4.8 and this is important because the minimum thickness of the base plate should be equal to that of the thickness of the flange of the column now design of base plate firstly we'll consider the dimension of the base plate and when there is a moment action then one side so for example if there is a moment in this direction so this side will be uplifted and this side will be exerted with the compression force so left flange and right flange accordingly will get a different force due to the moment so if it was a purely axial load then it will be as uh, there won't be any dis uh, changes but when there is a moment there will be a difference due to the uplift uh, created so accordingly we'll get the forces but for now there is no moment so it will be zero then total force total compression yeah without any influence of the moment the total compression force will be 33 and total tension will be minus 37.5 but in case if there was a moment then this force or this side would have exerted or uh, uh, experienced a greater axial compression load due to the moment and this would have resulted into additional tensile force and area base plate required so this is calculated on the basis of the compressive load compression axial load so this comes as 5 5 and remember this is with respect to the design compressive stress as well as the load and factor so 1.5 for now let us assume uh, for square base plate we are considering a square base plate so square root of this gives the dimension so 74.54 mm is sufficient but considering this thing that is is distance of the bolt uh, the minimum size of the plate required will be 179.5 so uh, considering this size let us provide 200 mm that makes sense okay now larger projection of the base plate beyond the column so these two things are to be considered with respect to this so here you can see the value of a as well as the value of b so these are the uh, larger projection and shorter projection considering the uh, base reaction that is w uh, newton per mm square so 200 mm is the size that's fine now let us check for the bearing pressure at concrete so to make sure that there is or the bearing pressure intensity of pressure uh, is within the permissible limit 
let us check so this comes as the compression load and the projection or that is the base plate dimension so 1.25 which is less than the value uh, we have computed over here that is 9 for m20 so okay thickness of base plate so as i've already said minimum thickness of base plate is equal to thickness of the flange of column 4.8 and thickness of base plate computed with respect to uh, the projection that we have provided as well as the intensity of pressure comes to be as 4.25 and providing minimum thickness so generally a minimum size of 10 mm is uh, suitable so we'll provide 10 mm uh, as the thickness of the base plate now size of weld so providing a nominal fillet weld of size as 5 mm then throat size so we have this drawing and according to this and generally it is provided as 45 degree so throat size comes as 3.5 this is the throat size and designed well resistance per unit length so according to the provided thickness and the ultimate tensile strength of steel we get as 0.78 kilo newton per mm then provided well length this is with respect to depth of section so 113.5 and 113.5 overall dimension so the fillet uh, the weld will uh, take a length in this direction in this arrangement so we get this as one uh, 454 mm now multiplying this with this value we get 353 and this value shall be greater than that of the value that is the tone uh, total tension the weld is generally provided for the uplift so design of anchor bolts check for tension design tensile force on each bolt so uh, we have value of 37 as the on factor so providing a factor of safety as 1.5 so on each bolt we'll have 14.06 kilo newton and design tensile capacity of the bolt which depends upon the tensile that is the threaded portion as well as the ultimate tensile capacity of the bolt so this comes as 23.97 kilo newton which is greater than that of the design tensile force so it is okay now check for shear for now there is no any shear force that is fx fy so it is zero and shear capacity of the bolt is computed as 15.98 and bearing capacity of the plate 39.36 and design uh, shear capacity we have computed and this value should be greater than the design shear force on each bolt that is also now check for combined shear and this is from the is code and clause 10.3.6 from is 800 and this value should be less than one to uh, make sure that bolt subjected to combined shear and tension is safe now embedment length we have two formulas for calculating the embedment length so there is no proper uh, formula for the length of embedment as per is code so bond stress for m20 grade so this is from is 456 table 21 and here we have a grade of concrete m20 and the permissible stress in bond for this is 0 0.8 so and length of embedment so this is from the pull out criteria in here you have the formula so this is basically a empirical formula that depends upon the tensile capacity of the bolt and uh, grade of the concrete and the diameter of the bolt so that comes as 23.39 and length of embedment based on the bond stress which is basically uh, bond stress is equal to axial tension by peripheral area that is area of the bolt and this comes as 466.27 so this comes as 475 mm which is greater than that of the value required so minimum value of 300 mm is considered as the embedment length so it is okay so the overall summary is grade of steel as fe 250 length and width as 200 mm Thickness of plate is 10 mm, size of weld 5 mm, and grade of bolt 4.6, and four numbers of 12 mm bar embedded 475 mm into the concrete. Now, following this, we'll design a column pedestal. So, grade of concrete 20 MPa, grade of steel Fe 500, service axial load on column. So, it was 33. Size of base plate, so we have provided 200 by 200. Design compressive stress 9 and pressure on the top of pedestal 1.24 that is less than the value permissible so it is okay and design of pedestal without dowel bar so maximum stress permitted 9 that is okay area pedestal required 5500 and size of pedestals 
70 so assuming pedestal so 200 mm and considering the clear cover for the reinforcement as well so 40 mm clear cover for the column pedestal so providing uh, 300 mm by 300 mm and minimum area required so if it was a column then we have provided 0.8 percentage but for a pedestal a uh, minimum reinforcement of 0.5 is sufficient but however i have provided one percentage so that comes as 900 mm square and rebar diameter provided let us provide 12 mm bar and eight numbers of bar gives 905 mm square so that is okay so eight numbers of 12 mm bar for a 300 by 300 column pedestal so this is a sample uh, representation of the detailing of the base plate so here you can see column post and this is the base plate that we have provided and this is the dimension so in this case the base plate was resting on a beam of size 12 inches by 22 inches so it is not a concrete pedestal I said these are the anchor bolt and this is m16 previously we have designed for m12 and this is m16 with 10 inches embedment length and 6 inches is the pitch of the bolt and also we have added a stiffener plate so it is not according to the design it is just our additional uh, design so in this way we will represent the typical plan and a section of the base plate connection so i hope this video helped you and if it did help do like and comment in the video and share it with your friends and if you want this excel sheet just click in the link in the description box and request for the access and remember this is a paid resource do not request for free access thank you